Okay, quote the raven, let's play some Doom. So, um, I went into this game really pessimistic, really negative. I really, I, I, I really, you know, had no motivation to like this game at all. And, and even though I don't think it's perfect, and I'll talk about some of my problems with it, it is much better than I expected it to be. They did a much better job of staying true to Doom than I expected them to. I mean, it still has a lot of the stink from modern game design on it, unfortunately, but um, it, it's, still, it's still a fun game. It's still worth playing through. I don't think it's worth $60.00. It's not a sixty-dollar game, but um, it, it it's it's fun, you know. When when Steam has some discount on it and you can get it for like twenty bucks or, or less or something, it, it'll be a good buy. I, I don't see the game lasting indefinitely the way that the original Doom did in terms of replay value and um, all of that. But it's a it's a fun romp. So the game basically has all of the familiar uh, Doom weapons, and as you can see on the Imp there, they um, stayed truer to the original design than Doom 3. What you really kind of have in this game is an amalgamation of all of the Doom games. It has a lot of the aesthetics from Doom 3, uh, but it also has a lot of stuff from uh, you know, Doom 1 and, and Doom 2 in it, so it's um, it, it's kind of a nice balance, I think, of, of all the, the different games. And um, as you can see in the gameplay here, you basically kind of have these arenas that you go into that, um, you know, just throw a bunch of enemies at you. And these periodically, you know, come up. I mean, you can just see, you know, how much stopping power the Super Shotgun has. Um, it, I'm playing on Ultra Violence right now, and it pretty much um, destroys those, uh, you know, Hell Knights. Yeah, and, and I disabled that obnoxious highlighting that goes around the... Um, enemies when they're dazed because it's stupid yeah so the direction they decided to go with this game they decided to um, go kind of Doom 3 with the Hell Knight but then go kind of classic Doom 1 with the um, uh, you know the, the Barons of Hell which I think is a pretty good compromise there, because in a way, it always was kind of lame and lazy how the uh, original Doom just kind of did a did a palette swap on the Baron of Hell for the Hell Knights. So I don't, I don't really mind that so much. Um, but basically, mechanically, I think my complaints of this game really stem from the fact that it still isn't fast enough, and I think it still has a little bit too much taco in it, um, even though I'm not really showing it here, there are some just annoying cinematic things. I wish they would just go full on action and just, you know, not even pretend that the game has a story. Because, because really, I mean, I want replay value. I just want to be able to mindlessly play through the game and shoot crap, and I don't want to get anything in my way. I mean, I do appreciate the fact that they put in the uh, the mission select after you, you know, after you like beat a level, and so they they are trying to kind of encourage. Um, you know, replaying stuff, I guess, in that sense. But, yeah. Um, and, and also, I, I kind of feel like um, the difficulty, you know, the tuning of the game is a little strange where they, they, they basically went the route of um, let's just beef up the damage to make things harder. You know, let's not actually, like, add more enemies or, or, or really try to make things more challenging in a fun way, but let's just try to, uh, 
uh, you, you know, make make one imp fireball take off like, you know, seventy percent of your health. It just seems kind of silly. Yeah. I, oh, I also don't like how um, it seems like this enemy, I guess, is like sort of the closest thing to um, uh, an archvile equivalent. Uh, but I, I don't I don't really think that it fit the bill. It, it, it seems like for some reason in this game they were still afraid of like really high monster counts. Um, you know, like they like they didn't think that people's machines were going to be powerful enough to handle you know like doom uh, uh, you know player counts on the screen. You know, which, which I think was kind of a mistake. Um, Because the game seems to run really well, actually. You know, like surprisingly so. Because I mean, because the game does actually look pretty good. Um, I'm kind of used to PC games, you know, running like molten. But, um, but I will say though, even though it, it looks decent, the um, the textures are kind of like hit and miss, sort of like Rage. I mean, you can definitely tell this thing is still based on that uh, goofy uh, mega texture technology. They, they just didn't use it as aggressively as they did in Rage because if you load in um, a map, uh, you know, sometimes for the first time, you can see the textures pop in. You know, it's still using that crap behind the scenes. I think that's also why the game is like 55 gigabytes because um, it, uh, I, mean, I mean, those mega textures just take a bunch of space. I think it was also sort of, um, I mean, this game definitely had like a trouble development because you can just sort of tell how they couldn't quite decide what to do with it in terms of um, like which direction to go at first. And like they finally decided to go with, you know, an approach that was closer to the original Doom. But, but I get the sense though that you know, it's, it still has some of those leftovers from when they were trying to make it a, a boring game. Yeah, I, and I also kind of feel too that, I mean, basically, like, what I want from, in terms of pacing and balance in a Doom game, I just want a bunch of really slow, um, you know, stupid monsters, and I want to be really fast. I, I think that that kind of, um, you know, that sort of design works the best for this game. But in this game, it, it's still, the, the, the problem that I have with the enemies is a lot of them aren't that fun to fight because they're too agile. And I mean, see how they're just kind of dancing around? Like, you feel like you're fighting, um, you know, Tony Hawk or something, and it just doesn't feel very demon-y. Um, and also, look at how fast the projectiles are. I mean, the, the projectiles are like, you know, nightmare speed, uh, you know, doom projectiles. I, I, I just don't think that, I mean, I don't think it's challenging. It's not, it's not that. It's just, it's more that it's just, I don't think enemies are as fun to fight like that. And, and, I, and I also kind of find it interesting how, you know, some of the enemies are just, just poorly balanced, you know, like, like, like one charged up imp fireball you know, is, is really fast and it can take off, like, you know, the majority of your health in ultraviolence. But, um, but like the Revenants, for example, you know, they're, they're really weak. They have slow projectiles. They don't do that much damage. Um, so it's kind of bizarre. Yeah, I, I've also encountered numerous bugs with the AI, you know, like I've, I've seen enemies just kind of, um, stop moving at times and um, you know that that's always you know kind of a, a bad experience but I mean but if I said overall it's fun it's a good romp um, it, it's not it's not paced exactly as I as I would like it I would prefer the game to be faster I would prefer more enemies I would prefer um, you know, like like less of an emphasis on the arena stuff, and just more pacing where you um, just you know fight while you're navigating a level. See, in this game, there's almost kind of a sense of like, like like it, it, like the pacing to this game feels more like deathmatch than it does single player. 
and, and, and I think that's part of where it falls apart because, you, you know, like, what the beauty of the original Doom is, it's really fast and there are tons of monsters and you feel like you're progressing through a map while you're fighting. But in this game, it just kind of feels like you have a downtime, like we're seeing right now, where I'm kind of navigating to the next um, area. And um, I don't... Oh, you know, I'm going to need to get more ammo here. Y y yeah, so... Well, I... But basically, like, like I'm saying, you have this downtime where you don't have a lot of action going on. Um, and then, um, you know... You, you do these, uh, you know, kind of arena things with a ton of enemies. And, and that's basically where everything happens. Now, it, it, like, like I said, see, to me... Oh, crap. I thought I could make that jump. Oh, well. But, but see, to me, the, um, the, the pacing of a Doom game really should be all about progression while you're fighting. Uh, you, you know, I, just, I don't like running around in circles over and over again you know, while I'm fighting, because, because like I said, you know, it feels like um, a multiplayer deathmatch game, you know, the, the way it's paced. And, um, I just don't know if that's necessarily right, you know, for, for a game like this. Yeah, I mean, I, I do like the double jumping. I do like how they've successfully um, integrated, you know, more verticality into the game. You know, it, um... Because, cause, I mean, because basically a lot of your uh, dodging now is essentially taking advantage of double jumping. Yeah, see, and it's like the Lost Souls, for example. See, they made the Lost Souls these, you know, like, charging enemies that blow up in your face. And, and, and to me, it's like, yeah, yeah, whatever, I mean, that's fine. But I just don't find that particularly fun, you know? I mean, that, I don't know, it just... That, ju that, that just isn't necessarily what I would have actually, you know, really wanted to play. Um, I, I preferred it when, you know, the, the Lost Souls, you know, didn't kind of have... They weren't annoying to fight, you know? Now, now you just kind of want to like pick them off at a distance. Yeah, they also seem like too dumb to actually run towards you, which is sort of weird. Yeah, there's also the problem like with the aesthetics. It's like this enemy, for example. He doesn't look like a demon. He looks like some kind of weird um, alien. And I think that's kind of... Like, some of the monster designs, they really got right. You know, some of them really do look like Doom Demons. But, um, but like I said, I think they kind of... They're, they're, they're all over the place. Um, oh, yeah, I'll also say that I think that, like, the... Um, the... Uh, like, like I said, the tuning, once again, is really kind of weird. Um... There are enemies that, you know, you would expect to kind of hit harder than they do and don't. And then there are other enemies that, um... Damn it, I thought... Alright, whatever. Yeah, it looks like you can make that jump. But, yeah, so in any case, eh, 